Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Uh, welcome you all to the next class on inorganic chemistry of life principles and perspectives. In the previous class we have started looking at the uh, role of vanadium in biological systems. Uh, we have tried to look at uh, the among the various oxidation states of plus and minus of the vanadium that is possible in chemical species. The most uh, 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 you know prominent and prevalent oxidation states in the biological context of plus 5, plus 4 and plus 3. We will look for the reasons for these ones because the potential uh, reduction potential from plus 5 to plus 4 is uh, quite large positive and the plus 4 to plus 3 is uh, smaller but positive. And uh, beyond that when you go to the plus 3 to plus 2 it becomes a negative potential and the vanadium 2 plus is uh, a strongly reducing agent. So, therefore, vanadium 2 plus is being not identified in the biological systems at all. So, uh, that is what we have noticed. We also uh, try to understand the vanadium presence in the uh, form of uh, vanadates, uh, multiple kinds of vanadates, mono, di, tri, tetra, etc., which is dependent on both the concentration as well as the pH, because the pH will change the protonation, deprotonation states of these uh, uh, species. Uh, then we have uh, looked at the vanadium 51 uh, uh, NMR, how that is relevant to the coordination sphere and the uh, basically dependent on the summation of the electronegativities of the primary coordination uh, species to the metal center. And it is very nice that uh, when such a such a vanadium 5 is present in the uh, proteins or biological enzymes, one can find the coordination sphere quite nicely by using that. On the other hand, if you have a vanadium in the form of plus 4, you can use uh, EPR as the useful tool because the vanadium 4 plus is D1 system. And so, in fact, uh, also shown in the, uh, in the previous class that the vanadium 5 that is entered into the biological cells can get reduced to 4 and in some cases even 3. Therefore, in biology you would see as plus 5, plus 4 and plus 3. And we have seen a special case of vanadate which is acting as a inhibitor for the, uh, the ATPase. Uh, uh, you know the ATPase goes through the two types of uh, two oh, parts of the cycles, the first cycle and the sodium binding followed by uh, release of this, then uh, the second cycle potassium uh, binding followed by the release of this. And the first one is uh, uh, driven by the phosphorylation and second part is driven by the dephosphorylation. At the second stage where the dephosphorylation takes place, if the vanadate is present, vanadate binds to the uh, protein much more strongly than that of the phosphate uh, and it is irreversible. Hence, the vanadate acts as a uh, inhibitor for the ATP cycle. Now, let us uh, in this class, let us look at the a, a positive uh, role of the vanadium uh, that is the vanadium uh, enzyme. So, one famous example is the haloperoxidases. So, vanadium dependent haloperoxidases. So, haloperoxidases are uh, quite popularly known uh, particularly from the their presence in the sea algae where a lot of organic moieties in the ocean are converted to the halogenated ones. This could be chloro, this could be bromo, this could be iodo. So, therefore, chloroperoxidase, bromoperoxidase and iodoperoxidase. So, these are general class of the haloperoxidases. And these haloperoxidases work in the presence of the, uh, the halogen of course is required and what is required is a hydrogen peroxide. So, uh, so one can uh, read this particular slide to get the most background information about this. Let us look at one example of this vanadium bromoperoxidase. We will come to the reaction etc. a bit later and you see a huge uh, protein of course, this is one uh, monomer of the entire structure and uh, you can see the structure is having the alpha helices uh, which are mostly in the red in color and the beta sheets which are in the 
uh, you know, uh, green uh, in color and then you have the random coil which is which are in the yellow color. So, this whole thing together you have a three dimensional structure and such a three dimensional structure would basically uh, you know is responsible for the activity of the enzyme. Now, how is the veridium is placed? So, let us look at uh, to understand this, let us look at the this slide and in this slide there are two structures, one on the left side, one on the right side. Okay, so, the left side uh, one is taken from the vanadium bromoperoxidase V dash BPO beads vanadium bromoperoxidase V dash CPO beads vanadium chloroperoxidase. So, bromoperoxidase and chloroperoxidase that you have and uh, this is the enzyme structure not the entire enzyme structure is shown only the structure very close to the vanadium part. So, how is the vanadium is placed? Vanadium is here in the center and the four oxo groups are there. So, it is basically vanadate is suspended in the protein where only one direct covalent connection between the veridium and the protein is this particular thing which is a histidine. So, veridium to N or the histidine is only one single connection that you have between the vanadate and the enzyme and as the oxygens present on the vanadate are indeed involved in the uh, in the hydrogen bonding and this is from uh, bromoperoxidase the complete uh, hydrogen bonding scheme is not shown here. However, if you look at the another case chloroperoxidase we can just see only the vanadate you see that 1, 2, 3 and 4 kind of oxygens being uh, present here and these are connected by the lot of hydrogen bonding situation. So, it looks like as if a vanadate species is uh, suspended into a protein and wherein it is attached through a one covalent connectivity with the uh, nitrogen or the imidazole or the histidine moiety. So, you can see that all these arginines, this arginine and uh, so other uh, serine and of course, the, uh, the histidine and this histidine is a covalent uh, bond. So, this is how roughly the uh, active center of the viridium looks like in haloperoxidases. And as you see that this whole species is stabilized by all this, therefore, these you call it as a secondary interactions and these hydrogen bonds with the side chains of the protein is called basically the uh, secondary interactions of whereas, this is the primary coordination uh, sphere. I think this much of information about how the viridium center is present is more than sufficient enough to uh, understand. Of course, the rest of the protein is always there which is not shown over here. Okay. And let us see what kind of a reactivity and how do one measure such a kind of a reactivity. Uh, haloperoxidase activity is basically it does halogenation of the substrate. We uh, have given here case for how to assay the, such a kind of a uh, the halogenation. So, this is the substrate we have and the substrate uh, has two uh, forms which are shown and this has an absorption spectrum around 290 uh, nanometers 20,000 20, mole inverse. This is 20,000 mole inverse uh, is the epsilon value. Now, this when you add the viridium bromoperoxidase VBRPO in presence of the H2O2 and bromide. Uh, is of course, inorganic bromide like sodium bromide, ammonium tetra alkyl ammonium bromide any of these things can be taken and that bromo will be added here and then what will happen is the absorption maximum will not shift, but the absorption epsilon that is the extent to which it absorbs is diminished it is going from 20,000 to 100. So, a lot decrease in these ones. You can also use other kinds of substrates like a phenol red uh, you have and the phenol red uh, will become the phenol blue here this goes from 433 nanometers to 593 uh, nanometer which is almost 160 nanometer shift. So, you can find either by the intensity variation or by the uh, epsilon maximum position the whether the, the enzyme activity and this is what is referred to as the assay method. So, if you want to identify the enzyme activity always you require assay method and this is one of the assay methods uh, uh, or actually two different assay methods for the uh, haloperoxidase system that you have. Okay, on the uh, next slide I have tried to 
put all the possible steps that one can visualize when the uh, haloperoxidase act on the substrate. Uh, if you recall uh, that one other thing I have forgotten to tell you is in all these things the vanadium is in vanadium 5 oxidation state. Okay. So, therefore, in the enzyme when we talk, looked at here uh, this particular part of the enzyme this is basically vanadium is in the vanadium 5. Okay. Now, let us look at the mechanistic aspects of this particular enzyme uh, chloroperoxidase, bromoperoxidase it does not matter one of these we can a general mechanism or a generic mechanism for this that we can understand. If you recall this enzyme functions one you need H2O2 other you need halite. There are two uh, components which are required in addition of course to the substrate and in addition of course to the enzyme. So, the enzyme thus catalytically is no question about it. So, this can be grossly looked at some kind of a steps. So, we can say the step 1 is the one where the uh, H2O2 is being added okay, and, uh, and then H2O2 is added obviously will add a protonation as well as a attack at the metal center. So, thereby form some kind of a peroxo kind of a uh, compound and thus such a peroxide compound in the third step will activate the halide to form a reactive halide species. And such a reactive halide species very quickly uh, dissociates by adding the halide ion uh, halide species to the substrate and returns back to the normal part of it. So far the direct evidence has not been seen for the uh, any halide binding to the vanadium drug binding of this and uh, still the, uh, the uh, hypohalide kind of a species is still being visualized. And the second aspect is the, the during the catalysis uh, there is uh, uh, no change in the oxidation state. The oxidation state remains to be the plus 5. Uh, uh, so, therefore, these two are absolutely important aspects to uh, keep in mind while building the mechanistic. Uh, aspects. So, as you can see from here uh, that this is the vanadate uh, species which is bound to the protein through this particular histidine and this is activated by a different uh, histidine etcetera uh, etcetera. And this particular center or the enzyme is attacked by the hydrogen uh, peroxide and that will add a protonation to this. So, this will protonate this one and uh, O uh, HO2 minus is obviously a kind of a, uh, a nucleophile which will act at the metal center. Okay, so, that will basically give a, a, a species of this kind of a peroxy species. Now, at this stage I should take a little bit of uh, deviation and explain you some things that are noted. In fact, in the literature the small molecular components that people have prepared they have looked at uh, the addition of the uh, for the vanadium 5 compounds they have looked at the addition of the hydrogen peroxide and peroxo bound species were isolated. So, therefore, there is sufficient amount of proof uh, uh, evidence or support for the for the bonding of this peroxo species to the vanadium center. So, such kind of complexes are very well known in the literature from the coordination chemistry point of view. So, therefore, such a binding is very well visualized. Now, at this stage of uh, the thing uh, uh, the halide activation takes place. So, halide activation goes uh, with uh, an attack on this uh, uh, peroxo species sort of uh, sort of break this uh, peroxo species to form a species of the hypo. Uh, chloric acid, if it is a bromine case, hypobromic acid, hypohydric acid. So, hypohalide kind of an intermediate and certainly this intermediate is not a very stable one and very reactive. So, at this stage uh, it will uh, re-stabilize the coordination and this the water as a coordination uh, and then that will be setting with the uh, histidine. 
So, in other words this particular species when you have a, a substrate here and substrate gets halogenated. So, the product will be halogenated product and brings back this. Since the pro, uh, substrate is not shown over here, so therefore, it is shown uh, as if it is the HOCl that is uh, coming into this. Okay. So, so, the main mechanism is that you have the vanadium 5 uh, vanadate based species, uh, the H2O2 reacting to this adding protonation and uh, HO2 minus nucleophilic attack and a kind of a peroxo species for which there is a lot of evidence from the small molecular chemistry peroxo bridging peroxo binding and this is being further activated by the halide species to result in the hypohalous acid. And if you have uh, a substrate at this stage the substrate will get halogenated. If the substrate is not there you can expect as a HOCl being liberated. Okay. And this is how one can try to understand the uh, mechanism of the peroxidase. So, uh, so let us look at uh, one another evidence that this is indeed is the reaction center. How do we know it, this is the actually the reaction site or active site. So, in that case what one needs to do? Now, remove that vanadate part. How will you remove? It is very simple you can remove the whole vanadate. So, you re remove then one when you remove this what is the uh, kind of a protein that you get you pour the protein you get when you remove the vanadate is called the apoprotein. So, therefore, apoperoxidase you will get. So, now there is no vanadate species to this you can add sulphate. In fact, sulphate ion SO4 to minus HBO4 to minus is very very similar and they go and fit into the almost the same region where the vanadate was there and the sulphate goes. Now, once the sulphate goes as you can see here the sulphate gets uh, adjusted to the coordination uh, or to through the interactions with the protein and now no more reaction is taking place. So, this is exactly the vanadate species which was necessary for the reactivity. So, this will reconfirm that the vanadate center is indeed uh, responsible for the reaction on this particular enzyme. Okay. So, let us look at um, overall what we have uh, what we have uh, done in case of the uh, vanadium story is we have talked about the vanadium oxidation states, we have talked about the uh, vanadium oxidation state which are which are important and prevalent in the biological systems like plus 5, plus 4, plus 3 and uh, then kinds of vanadium species that we have been able to see and we talked about the tools like vanadium 51 NMR is suitable and useful for vanadium 5 uh, studies and whereas, the uh, EPR is very highly suitable and useful for vanadium 4 kind of a species. We also shown that the vanadium 5 is not very stable when it enters inside the cell they get further reduced to vanadium 4 and probably vanadium 3 in some cases too for which certain specific cells vanadobins and uh, those kind of things were already vanadochrome have already been explained and shown. Then we have shown that the vanadium uh, spe vanadate species are dependent on the concentration of the pH. Then we have also shown the vanadate uh, acts like a phosphate and if it is present in the in the uh, ATP cycle during the phosphate removal which is called dephosphorylation. At that stage if the vanadate is present vanadate, vanadate will bind to the protein irreversibly and then stops the cycle of the ATP that is the negative effect of the uh, vanadium. Positive effect of the vanadium we have looked at through the haloperoxidases. Haloperoxidases are really a boon uh, uh, because they are the ones which are present in algae in C, uh, C algae and they are the responsible in making the halogenated, dominated, uh, chlorinated, iodinated products of the organic which are very precious very expensive and which are very difficult to synthesize otherwise therefore. And then for such a kind of an enzyme we have looked at in such an enzyme the vanadate species is suspended in the protein through one covalent link with one of the uh, histidine and a large number of hydrogen bonds through the oxo species or hydroxo species present on the vanadium center. And all this acts uh, in presence of the H2O2 
and H2O2 uh, reacts at this particular center forms a peroxo species which in turn is activated by the chloride and to form the hypo uh, acid and that is the hypo acid which is responsible for binding to the substrate and that is being shown. And uh, uh, so, if the substrate is there it will bind to that and we have given the methods by which one can uh, even uh, you know assay the uh, haloperoxidase activity upon this. So, we also shown that this particular thing is absolutely true and correct. Uh, the center the venidate is the one which is responsible for uh, haloperoxidase reactivity because we could show by removing this and putting the sulphate the enzyme is inhibited. So, therefore, these are the aspects of one inhibition of anandate, one enzyme and general features have been taught in this particular course. I think that information is more than less sufficient enough in this for vanadium story and uh, for the vanadium 3 instead of vanadium 3 I will take the molybdenum 3 for nitrogenase. So, in the in the story of nitros, uh, molybdenum I will explain the nitrogenase. So, uh, I hope you understand what I am talking about the how these uh, metal ions form or metal ion species form uh, uh, activate the enzymes and then the reactions too. So, I think we are now geared to move to the next metal ion and the next metal ion that I would like to take uh, in the biological systems uh, or the bioinorganic systems is the manganese and as you can see that uh, also comes later to the vanadium okay, vanadium uh, and then manganese. Okay, uh, the manganese uh, also you know very well kind of oxidation states. We know we have seen most of the oxidation state plus 2 to plus 7. Of course, some other chemically available oxidation states are also there too. So, you can get large number of variety of oxidation states. However, not all of them are seen as you will see vanadium, uh, manganese 2, manganese 3 and manganese 4 are more or less uh, seen most of the time 2 and 3 and 3 and 4 very rarely the 5 may be uh, associated, but never 7 or never lower than 2 because lower than 2 or 2 reduce you uh, more than 5 is highly oxidative and you know biological systems never uh, accept take up the extreme uh, kind of a species if it takes up it will control it and that is what we need to keep in mind. Now, for a while let us look at this particular table to give a glimpse about the manganese enzymes and let me tell you manganese enzymes are diverse. There are manganese enzymes where one manganese is present, there are manganese enzymes where two manganese ions are present, there are manganese enzymes where four manganese ions are present too. And let us take some popular examples among this manganese superoxide dismutase, I will come to this in a while, manganese catalase, manganese extra dioxygenase, manganese ribonucleotide reductase, manganese uh, containing oxalate oxidase, oxalate decarboxylase photosystem in this too. So, what is manganese superoxide does? So, so superoxide uh, does it is uh, it uh, breaks down the superoxide radicals into O2 and H2O2. So, O2 is harmless H2O2 is less harmful than uh, of than this uh, uh, O2 minus. So, therefore, such H2O2 is taken up by another enzyme called catalase and there are catalases uh, even on manganese and of course, on the iron too. So, but I will be explaining in the manganese case. So, therefore, I may not explain this class of enzyme in the iron so much. So, manganese catalase and this will convert the hydrogen peroxide to uh, oxygen and water. So, overall the reactive species of oxygen which is the O2 minus which is superoxide radicals and peroxides these are disproportionated and dismuted to be less harmful uh, oxygen and water kind of a species. Occurrence is given you can always go through that. So, these uh, the manganese superoxide dismutase is the case where one manganese is present, manganese catalase is the case where the two oxygen uh, two manganese are present I will explain that. So, manganese extra diol dioxygenase and uh, uh, we will not be looking into this details of this enzyme. Manganese ribonucleotide reductase we will not be looking into the uh, details of this enzyme, but we look at the reactivity. The reason is that the details of this enzyme I will explain you when we come to the story of iron. 
iron is also involved in ribonucleotide reductase, but however, I will tell the reaction or function that is happening in this case in this story itself, then the uh, oxalate oxidase we are not going to take up, oxalate decarboxylate we are not going to have. Photosystem 2 where the 4 manganese are present and the water is oxidized to oxygen O2. So, this is present in plants, this is present in bacteria, algae etcetera. So, in this case we will study superoxide dismutase enzyme. Uh, catalysis, manganese catalyze enzyme catalysis, photosystem enzyme catalysis. These are the three cases that I am going to explain you under this banner of the manganese uh, biological inorganic chemistry. Before we go into the enzymes, uh, I have put a slightly different mode of approach now. Here I have shown 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 different kinds of enzymes. I have not shown the enzyme, but I have shown the metal ion or a manganese center. So, you see the manganese center in the SOD, there is only one manganese here. This is bound by 3 histidines uh, etcetera and this whole thing is protein. And this is photosystem, there are 4 manganese, the purple ones are 1, 2, 3 and 4 and there is one calcium. This is called a cluster, tetramanganese calcium cluster. Of course, more details will be explained later in this class itself. Uh, in this particular under the story of the manganese itself. Then uh, look at the uh, catalase enzyme which disproportionates the hydrogen peroxide to water and O2 and this has two manganese centers as you can see here as one little manganese over there another little manganese here this has a core and this has a core I will explain this too and mechanism too. So, all the three enzymes I am going to explain their mechanistic aspects. Then if we have one other enzyme which is ribonucleotide reductase, uh, I will give just the, the, the function, but I will not be giving the, uh, the reaction, uh, the mechanism of this because I will explain under the uh, iron story. Manganese dioxygenase, I will explain this under the copper case and the iron case dioxygenase, as copper dioxygenase, so we will give away with this. So, out of these 5 uh, reasonably well known enzymes, these 3 of the enzymes I will be uh, I will be handling uh, in under the story of the uh, manganese. Let us look at uh, look at the kind of reactions that it do does you see the oxygen oxygen uh, if you add one electron it will become O2 minus this is what is called superoxide and if you put one more electron and put two protons it will become O2 2 minus put two protons H2O2. So, the the superoxide what it does O2 to H2O2. And what catalyzes that from H2O2 to H2O? So, so the right side part this is catalyst, the left side part is the superoxide, okay, and these kind of a uh, 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 systems. So, the H2O2 uh, then further breaking to OH minus and then H2O, okay. So, you can use this, and in the peroxidase enzymes also you can go through this kind of a step. Manganese dioxygenase, I told you that I will explain this when I come to the copper, when I come to the uh, iron. So, but just I will show the example here, okay. Uh, and this uh, the, the O2 has got two oxygens, these two oxygens are uh, added up over here. See that the two more additional oxygens have come here and these are coming from here. So, this is called dioxygenase. Whenever an enzyme adds two O parts to the substrate, it is called dioxygenase. So, you will understand this much more better when we come to the iron case, when we come to the copper case. The other enzyme is uh, RNR, it is called ribonucleotide reductase. What is ribonucleotide reductase thing? Let me tell a little bit in this. You know, the uh, systems have got RNA and DNA. RNA has got ribosyl and DNA has got deoxyribosyl. And the, to the body, what is input? Ribose, never deoxyribose. So, if body has to synthesize DNA, it has to synthesize the deoxyribonucleotide. To make the deoxyribonucleotide, it has to make deoxyribose. So, that particular enzyme which does this deoxyribose, what is deoxyribose? Ribose has got a 2 prime hydroxyl, deoxyribose has 2 prime hydrogen. So, this is what the difference is. So, converting the uh, finally converting the 2 prime uh, hydroxy to 
uh, uh, hydrogen. Uh, so, this kind of a conversion is called the ribonucleotide reductase enzyme. And after making the ribonucleotide, uh, ribonucleotide uh, then only uh, the deoxyribonucleotide the other uh, system of enzymes will make the DNA which that is not a part of this particular story. So, first part of making the DNA is to make the deoxyribosyl moiety or deoxyribosyl nucleotide moiety. So, to make that take ribonucleotide and make the deoxyribonucleotide. So, and the uh, mechanism of this I can I will explain when we come to the uh, story of uh, um, uh, iron and probably even the story of the uh, cobalt too. So, let us see what all we have done in this particular uh, class is I have explained you uh, several aspects related to uh, vanadium and I have already made the conclusion of the vanadium. And now, I talk to you uh, about the manganese entry, manganese got several oxidation state, but most uh, uh, oxidation states favor or plus 2, 3, 4 and very little towards 5, never very highly oxidized, never very low oxidized ones because they are either strongly oxidizing or strongly reducing. There are uh, I, uh, manganese enzymes with 1 manganese, 2 manganese and 4 manganese, I will be taking one example of each, one is superoxide dismutase, other is per, uh, the catalase, the third one is photosystem where the oxygen is evolved from the uh, oxidation of the water uh, center. So, the kind of reactions are shown over there and the last reaction here you can see that it is in the photo uh, carbon dioxide going to, uh, to, uh, to the carbohydrate and the water going to the oxygen and I will be explaining the details of this as well. So, all these three cases I will be explaining in the next class. Thank you very much.